one million mortgages slip through the crack. Hi, Sean Radcliffe with Radcliffe and Associates here at Coldwell Banker, and I wanted to share an article with you that I saw today when I picked up the newspaper off of my driveway and read it in the Wall Street Journal. That's right, I'm old school, I get the newspaper, and that's how I get my news. So what this basically was talking about was the CARES Act. So Coronavirus Aid Relief and Economic Security Act that we all remember that Congress put in place in March, over $2 trillion to help shore up the economy. And part of that was uh, mortgage forbearance. So about 6 million homeowners took advantage of the market forbearance. But what this article was talking about was concerning was a million homeowners did not use forbearance and are now past due and in jeopardy of getting foreclosed on. The sad thing about that is about 680,000 or 68% of these homeowners are federally backed mortgages. So that means that they could have gone into forbearance and have their mortgage protected. 70% of the people surveyed said that the reason that they don't do forbearance is because they were afraid that they would have one big lump jumbo payment in three months and they couldn't do that. Well, the CARES Act is actually all the way through January. And if you talk to your service provider, most of them are taking and taking the three or six payments you're missing and putting them at the very end. So virtually, you know, if you have a 30 year mortgage, now you got a 30 year plus six month mortgage note. The other thing that was sad is that 60% of the people said they never heard of forbearance. They weren't even sure what forbearance was. So I think it's really important that we know what we can do to make sure that we're protecting our neighbors, our family, our own homes, and making sure that if you're late on your payments or you're not able to, the first thing you need to do is call your service provider, let them know, hey, I need to do forbearance. They'll walk you through the steps with very little documentation or maybe not even at all, they'll put you into forbearance because it's a federally backed program if that's what your loan is. The second thing is that you need to be talking to myself or another real estate professional or a loan person. We use Loan Depot and I'd love to refer them to you about what are your options? I mean, hey, if you're struggling, what can you do? Right now, the market is favoring sellers. So if you've been thinking about downsizing or you're thinking about making a move and it was 12 to 16 or maybe 24 months from now, maybe right now is a good time to cash in or maybe right now is a good time to do a cash out refi and to put a little money into your pocket and take advantage of the interest rates that are low and then you have a little bit of savings. So anyways, I just wanted to give you a quick video about what your opportunities are in the market. Of course, if you have any questions, concerns, you don't understand the video, or you just wanna give me a call, 714-497-0160. That's my direct cell phone. You can also text me at that number as well.